Okay. Okay, that's interesting. I, I don't think I've seen <coughs> Glaive in a TV on lane only before. It's gonna be good to see how they use the uh, first ability of Glaive. Yeah. Let's wish them luck and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So we've got Glaive and Adagio both going weapon power for the moment. Obviously, yes. potions are crucial at the start. Oh, and we have Ringo and Adagio both with contracts and uh, some candy and a mine, of course, potions are there. Let's see how it goes. It's very much going to be a uh, Adagio versus Adagio. Yeah. There may be a moment when we see one or two of them go for an Iron Guard contract just to boost the cash they get. That would maybe be a smart move at some point. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, at least one of them needs a, a contract in this kind of game. It's definitely going to be helpful at the, uh, towards the end when you can pick up more cash. Now we're just seeing yeah. them in the, uh, sort of, maybe not teasing each other trying to come in, but it's all about farming at the moment right now. Yeah, it's a lot of farming and it's, uh, some poking from time to time. I mean, it's smart to, when playing ring at least, after killing a minion, to just poke the enemy, deal some damage and then... We go around pushing it a little bit further. I guess the Dajio comes in with some damage. It's all just yeah. sort of feeling each other out, seeing what's going on. Yeah. Okay, oh, we have the here. first initiation. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Let's see okay. what damage can be done. And it was very nice. Very nicely done. Yeah. Nicely very done. Nice. And you see, Glaive I... escapes with good health. <laughs> and I th stay in the battle for a bit. Yes, and, and I think this, um, this uh, gank was successful because they very didn't nice. expect Glaive to pop out like that. Or maybe even they had the mine there, so they were probably hoping he maybe hit on there. And mines can do good damage early on. Yeah. We've got Glaive pushing just a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, he took some chances there. Much, maybe, yes. Yeah. They could have got them actually if they ganked a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But I think that the Adagio on the red team wasn't really on on that. It's better to play it safe in the early game. At the moment, they've got the one kill. That's There's true. No need to uh, to really push things further. Oh, yeah. Let's see, it's all a little bit. You never really know if it's gonna kick off or uh, slow down a bit. At base is playing around with kind of low health. Yeah, and we see Glaive wanted to take yes, advantage gonna of that, He'll but he's gonna that. die yeah. now. Pushed maybe a bit too much there. Yeah. The other guys have their health potions. Oh, no. They went back a bit. Two and That's two, two kills. That's impressive. Two kills, yeah. Let's take a look at the builds. They still have. Oh, they're going for some weapon power. Adagio, and then we got boots on Glaive. Yeah, this is the first time Glaive and Adagio have come back. They're not going for an Iron Guard like the other team, it seems. No. It's going heavy weapon power, so we'll probably see a lot more action coming up. And the blue team is now taking the chance to push the turret a bit. They're doing some damage, but now that just back. So it's wise to just fall back a little bit. Stay aggressive at the same point, you don't want to give up too much of the lane. I don't see a lot of mines, usually they, they're really using a lot of mines in these 2v2 games, but now I don't see really that much of them. Might be just... Uh... You don't really want the opponent to see where you've laid it, so you want to make sure they're not in sort of line of sight before you put it down. Otherwise, oh. it's pointless sometimes. Yeah. Glaive sitting there, just waiting. Could pounce very shortly. I don't see him, so... I'm guessing he's some Future somewhere in the bushes. Field. They push a little more, I can see there's something happening. Yeah, they're they're a bit more careful now. They realize that Glaive is missing from the lane, so he must be hiding somewhere. Yeah. Uh, now we. Oh. 
They've just triggered a, a mine of th from the blue that team. That may have actually given some team vi visibility, but uh, it probably wasn't close enough. It's also uh, very I helpful could, with scout I could traps. get a glimpse of Glaive for one moment there, but I'm guessing he's in the uh, right bush now. Yep. Waiting. It's just, uh... He, if he had a, if he had ha gotten an iron guard contract at the moment. He would be just this, picking, exactly. picking this up a lot of I gold. I think it probably... They may be stronger in terms of the battles when they happen, but... If the longer their game goes on, the more cash you can accumulate. The um, Ringo uh, Adagio combo may just pip it in terms of cash. And that's very important in a lane 2v2. Yeah. That's a bit of a pity that we are not able to see the amount of cash the teams have. Them. There's some action going here. Yeah. They've gone for it. They've got. Oh. Okay. Yes, that was very nicely the second done. Second kill for the red team. Glaive. They could have maybe gone for the second if Glaive was a little closer, but still, nonetheless, it's tied up the game. It's a very good use of the uh, first ability from Glaive there. Yeah. Sure. Surely. They're trying to push a bit. To do some damage to the turret, but falling Definitely. back it's wise. Definitely no. the wiser choice. Live is all missing from the lane, I'm not. Oh, there he is. Yep, Ring goes the... back, it seems. He's also purchased a tension bow. Now that can do some serious, serious damage. That's the one thing they've yeah. got, definitely got to be wary of. They, Every yes. second there's a bonus, I believe, 180 <laughs> damage. They should be really, really careful now. Yeah, it might be might be smart for one of them to go back to base and maybe pick up some potions and restock. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. The attention bow damage from Ringo. It's definitely hefty. Yep, there we see Adagio has gone back to uh, restock and. Carbs is in trouble if he doesn't yes. back out here. Nicely used. Yeah. <coughs> nice escape from Carbs. That's, that's the one very, very good thing. His, his ability can be used to oh, sort he's of get back. in the middle and of that. Now thing. we get and some. He may have just yeah. pushed a bit too far. He's probably heading back home. He knows that. There you go. Yeah. I love Ron pushing a bit. Well, we oh, got... There's the ability from Adagio. Maybe a slight waste. Yeah. Kept them at bay at least. Adagio is healing Ringo now. Got a good uh, dynamic going on, they're pushing as well, which is nice. But as soon as Glaive comes back, they'll be at full strength. We can see that Ringo has two bonuses now, all, both Aftershock and uh, um, Heroic Perk. And there he goes, like one fourth of, the, of Adagio's health was gone in a shot. One shot. Just looking at Glaive, who's just visited the shop. It seems he's going very tanky. He's got a reflex block, a bit of extra health, and, and some defense. Yeah, I'm guessing Glaive will get will be the support. Yeah, he's going to go in there with the afterburn, soak up a bit of damage, knock someone back, and see if they can. Um... Seems Ringo's alone. It may be. Uh... Oh, there comes a dash. Yeah. There's there's the there's, move. Yeah. Locked him in a bit, too, a bit too far away for Adagio to really get good damage off. Still pushing nonetheless. But they are, yeah. Uh, Ringo escaped. Okay. Yeah. Now would probably be a very good time for uh, Adagio Glaive to push maybe a little bit, get some damage on the turret if they can. Problem is, no minions. No minions, and, uh, both, yeah, Dojo is there, the blue one. So... It's around about this sort of stage of the game where you see bigger moves being made, so to speak. As soon as you can kill one or two, or hopefully yeah, both of them, you can really take out a turret big time with the damage you've got in the levels. Yeah. Oh, Ringo made a move, oh, Ringo, a bit too yeah. far maybe. And got surprised there by Glaive and nice. he's dead now, yeah. And that was the scout trap that was placed there, which was perfect. Glaive just used the afterburn, knocked him straight back in, and it's uh, almost always game over from there. Yeah.
Oh, now, I mean, Glaive has a uh, contract at the moment. And a lot of tanky items and boots. Well, Adagio is going for weapon power. Yeah. So, guys, Glaive going back to base. As well as uh, the Bill Adagio. So now we have Ringo, and I guess... It's all very tentative at the moment, it's very sort of... Waiting for a mistake to be made or something like that, and... Yeah, they don't really dare to make any risky moves at the moment. The, the score less. is tight also. So they don't want to risk the last kill to be... We have both Glaive and Adagio here against one Ringo. Maybe went a little too far. Uh, they'll get away just fine. I guess Ringo could... Oh, they're doing a bit of push. That's a very nice play from uh, Ringo and Adagio. Uh, just Ringo, oh, he's landed on again. Be... He's done the same thing again yeah, and he's gone. Uh, he's... yeah. Yep, he's gone. Where's he's gone. He help? should... I, I think sh he should have uh, been using his ulti on uh, Adagio. Oh, yep. Definitely now that you've got it, you can get a lot of damage right off the bat. So and I guess very, the game is nice over. Play. Yeah, nice very, play. Very, very good play. So despite the lack of contracts in the early game, they they still managed to, to win Sometimes this. Sometimes all it takes is a little push a bit too far and a bit of a mistake and that's it. Yeah. Well played to the guys. Good game, guys. Good game, guys. Unmugged and unbeaten. Yeah. GG, guys. GG, guys. Well played.